story about a bunny rabbit. I would like to share with you all. Are you ready for a story time? Shall we start now? Lettuce, the dancing rabbit by Mandy Stanley. Lettuce Rabbit and her family lived high up on the top of the hill. Nibble, nibble, hop, hop, every day was the same. Until the day Lettuce saw a picture pinned to a tree. It was then she knew that she wanted to be like the little girl in the picture. She wanted to be a dancer more than anything else in the world. Letty's thought town would be the best place to find out more. So she hopped there all by herself. She had never been so far in her life. Town was exciting, almost too exciting. There were lots of busy people, noisy babies, chatty children, and big scary dogs. Seeing an open door, let us peep in, and there she saw dances just like in the picture. I want to dance, she cried, rushing in. The music stopped and everybody looked. Please, may I join? asked Lettuce shyly. Yes, said the surprised teacher. But first, you must get dressed in ballet clothes. Lettuce didn't know what to do. She had never worn clothes before. You can get them at the shop we get ours from, called up out a little gear. At the shop, Lettuce tried on all the clothes. But the dress dragged on the floor. The shoes were like flippers. And the cardigan was huge. Lettuce began to cry. Then the shop assistant brought out a ballerina doll. All the doll's clothes fitted perfectly. Now Lettuce was ready. Lettuce hopped back to the ballet class. First, she had to learn the ballet positions. She watched and listened very carefully, copying the other dancers. The ballet teacher showed her how to hold her head high so her ears would look graceful. Lettuce worked very hard. She turned out her long toes, she stretched up her arms, and she tried not to wobble. When she jumped, it looked as though she were flying. 
when she twirled and whirled, she was almost a blur. Every week, Lettuce went to town for her class and at home she practiced every spare minute of the day. The teacher thought Lettuce was very special and was amazed at her extraordinary jumps. Lettuce worked so hard that each night she went to bed very tired but happy. A few weeks later, it was the end of term shop. Lettuce had been chosen for the starring role. She had a gorgeous costume. There was even a tiny crown. All Lettuce's family had come to see her. Lettuce was so nervous, she thought she had never been able to dance at all. The lights went down. The music began. Lettuce took a deep breath and leapt onto the stage. She glittered and twinkled and soared through the air. The rabbit family was so proud, they clapped their soft little paws all through the show. When it was all over, the rabbit family was so excited, they rushed straight home. Wait for me, squeaked Lettuce, but they didn't hear her. Poor Lettuce, she was tired and alone, and as she slowly walked home, the line fell. She felt so miserable. She just wanted to crawl into the warm, cozy burrow and fall fast asleep. Next day, the rabbit family were busy collecting apples, cabbages, and carrots ready for a picnic. Lettuce won't want to come, said her brothers and sisters. She is a star now. But Lettuce heard them and felt very hurt. How could they go without her? She pulled off the crown and threw off the dress. She kicked off her shoes and scrambled out of her tights. Wait for me! She cried and raced up the hill. She could feel the sun on her fur, the grass between her toes and the wind in her ears. It was wonderful. Lettuce had found out what it felt like to be a ballerina. But she knew that being a rabbit was by far the very best thing in the world. That's the end of the story. Thank you for listening the story with me. Enjoy your rest of the day. Bye.